to the Oh, looking out over Botany Bay, and here he comes, settling down towards the runway at the moment. Just watch those huge landing lights, dazzle us almost, uh, as he swung on to face up to Mascot Airport. And this beautiful jumbo, it's got to be, I would think, the British Airways uh, one one. I can't quite make out in the light this morning uh, which one it is. Uh, but he's just about to settle down onto the runway there across Botany Bay. And if you're driving along General Holmes, what a view you're going to have in a matter of moments when he uh, gets down there to the, the Boeing Tunnel. But look at that, like a feather, gradually settling towards the runway in the beautiful early morning light over Botany Bay. And there he is, coming down now and a little puff of smoke and uh, the big jumbo is on the runway. It's just 18 and a quarter to seven. And radio greats remember the legend who blazed a trail in broadcasting. Sammy Sparrow. Oh, now, come on, you're not allowed to do that here. What? Play with yo-yos in the studio. I'm an expert at this. Oh, go on, you're not. Yes, I am. I'll show you. No. I do this around the world magnificently. One, two, three, four. Oh, hell. <laughs> That's enough of that. I think I uh, broke, oh, broke it. You can't say that on the air. Oh, you are in trouble. I've got to go. Yes, I would imagine you would have to. But you must admit that fresh air is lovely, isn't it? Sad news today that King of the Airwaves Gary O'Callaghan has died at the age of 83. The veteran broadcaster was a long-running and much-loved fixture on Sydney Radio, working at 2UE for nearly 50 years. He was a legend of the Sydney Airwaves. Oh, looking out over Botany Bay. Gary O'Callaghan made groundbreaking radio the king of the breakfast slot beautiful jumbo it's got to be i would think the british airways uh one one i can't quite make out in the light this morning uh which one it is breathing life into his imaginary sidekick children's icon sammy sparrow oh now come on you're not allowed to do that here what play with yo-yos in the studio i'm an expert at this the broadcaster called radio 2ue home for almost 50 years and ruled the airwaves for three decades at times attracting a huge 46% of the audience. He was devout in every way. He was a very decent human being, a good bloke. O'Callaghan was a newsman at heart. He broke the scandal of the Petrov affair. It was in April 1954. He was also the first broadcaster to use aircraft for beach patrols and traffic updates and monitored the police radio to break news. Just a doyen, just a, a really, really great broadcaster, but more importantly, a really nice person. O'Callaghan gave 2GB's Ray Hadley early advice. And I thought there was some secret to radio, and I thought, this is the man that will unlock the secret to me. He looked at me, he said, what's your name, son? I said, Ray Hadley. He said, do you think you can be him? They say it takes a king to know a king. I don't like that label, but I would certainly say he was, yes. He, he was terrific. Gary O'Callaghan, MBE, is survived by his wife Dorothy, their sons and grandchildren. Simon Boda, Nine News.
gotta get it time and again. Gotta get the rhythm, gotta get the rhythm, gotta get the rhythm. Gotta get the rhythm, gotta get the rhythm. 